Hello, my name is Jose del Rio, and I'm going to analyze the world's largest rope swing. Uh, from the video, we were given that the arch is 150 feet uh, tall, uh, the rope is 130 feet, and an average uh, human weighs 7 kilograms. So first, we're going to uh, analyze the velocity uh, when the jumper is right uh, in the lowest point. Uh, our system we're going to take is a rope, jumper, and earth. Surrounding is nothing. Uh, here we have a diagram that shows the uh, measurements in meters. Now, uh, the changing energy is going to equal the work, which is going to equal zero because the uh, uh, system is so big. The initial state we have a uh, potential energy, and in final state we have potential and kinetic energy. Uh, here we put it in terms of variables, and so in for V, we get that uh, the velocity is going to be 27.86 meters per second. Now the tension in the bottom of the pendulum. Now we are only interested in the sums of the forces in Y, because uh, in the bottom of the pendulum, that's the only force acting on the system. In the Fibonacci diagram, we notice that there are only two forces acting, the tension and earth. So, therefore, uh, F net, which equals mv squared over r, is going to be equal to tension minus mg. And so, for t, we get that tension is 2,058 newtons. Okay, now we're going to analyze the tension at 30 degrees, the same way as we did in the bottom. Uh, as you know, it's an ideal rope, so here we need uh, velocity. So with this, we're going to do it with analyzing energies. We have a final kinetic energy, final potential, and initial potential. For potential, we need heights. We got the, the total height from the video, and we need the height when it's in 30 degrees. Doing simple trigonometric functions, and we get that the height at 30 degrees is going to be 11.41. With this, we can solve for velocity and get that the velocity is going to be 25.93 meters per second. Now, uh, with the Fibonacci diagram, we see that uh, we have the tension uh, perpendicular and an opposite uh, force that uh, is acting on the body and also for gravity. So here, tension is going to be uh, mv squared over r plus mg cosine 30, which gives us uh, 1,782.09 newtons. You know, what's a stretch of the rope at the bottom of the pendulum? Uh, the jumper says that the, when you go down the pendulum, uh, you have 130 feet of free fall, and the rope catches you and puts you 10 feet from the, from the bottom. That means that the rope stretches in the bottom is 10 feet, which equals 3.048 meters. This is an easy step to do. So I'm going to take an extra step, which is uh, like assuming it is all the time in a pendulum motion. So. Uh, we are going to analyze energies and the forces to have uh, systematic equations and solve for S. So here uh, we have uh, K, KS final, uh, K final, U final, and U initial. Here we solve for V squared. Now, uh, analyzing forces, we get that F net equals MV squared over R, which equals to KS minus MG cosine 30. Now we solve for v squared again. Then we equate these two equations to have a system of equation of only s and v. And I'm sorry, s and k. So we start solving for s and we get a quadratic. Now we got to look for k. We solve for k uh, from the last problem. First, uh, we analyze energy again from the top. To, to the bottom, and we have uh, KS final, U final, and U initial. Uh, here we put everything in variables, solve for K, and we get that K equals 2MG uh, times the quantity uh, of the height on the top minus the height in the bottom, divided by the stretch it had in the previous problem. Uh, here we see our, our values for H1, H2, and the stretch of the previous problem uh, having that K equals uh, 6,301.84 newtons. Then we plug this in to the quadratic function and get that the stretch, final stretch is going to be 0.28 meters. 
Now that we have computed all our data analytically, now we are going to do a virtual representation of the largest rope swing. As you can see, it concords with our uh, data because in the bottom is where the tension is the greatest and here a graph of time versus uh, kinetic energy shows that the speed is the greatest at the bottom too. So thank you for your attention.